I just found a new multi-AI agent system which uses OpenAI's Assistant API. Introducing Experts.js. This is probably the easiest way for you to create and deploy OpenAI's assistants and have them linked together as tools. And this is to create a panel of expert systems with expanded memory, refined generation, as well as attention to detail. To give you more context, OpenAI had released their very own API, which was something that is used to easily build powerful AI systems. And you can take a look at this with the link in the description below in the OpenAI Playground. This is something that is used to easily build these powerful AI assistants within OpenAI's application. And now we have the introduction of experts.js, which will simplify the usage of the new API by removing the complexity of managing run objects and allowing assistants to be linked together as tools. Hence why it's a multi-AI agent system. This is something that we're going to be uncovering throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. But before we move on forward with the video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor. Introducing listen to AI. This is your personalized hands-free news experience. Imagine getting the news you want when you want it and how you want it. With listen to AI, it's now possible. With listen to AI, you can customize your news by choosing from seven different categories, whether that's breaking news, sports, technology, and so much more. Just take a listen. Hello there. Today is Saturday, May 4th. I am Amy. In an exciting swirl of sports and celebrity at the Miami Grand Prix. Listen to AI sources news from over 80,000 trusted outlets and blogs worldwide. That's right. It's not just US news, it's global. You stay informed with top quality news, and this is free from propaganda as well as biases. Want to hear news in your preferred language? Well, with listen to AI, simply select the language and it will deliver the news in a way that's familiar and comfortable with you. You have personalized playlists to organize your news. You can adjust your playing speed to match your pace. You can control the verbosity to get as much detail as you want. You can also set your preference and make listen to AI truly yours, whether it's news topics, political orientation, or listening speeds. You can customize it with the search function. Visit listen to AI where news is tailored for you, wherever you are, wherever you want it. Visit listen to AI and start listening to the news your way. Download it with the App Store today with the link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at experts.js. This is a library that's designed to streamline the use case of OpenAI's Assistant API. So why was this created? Firstly, it's for simplicity and ease of use, where it's easy to understand for anyone and it removes the complexity of managing run objects. So what's the second reason? Well, it's because they've introduced this multi-agent system that will allow you to create a panel of AI experts. And each of these AI experts are going to specialize in their own domain and context. And the great thing about this multi-agent system is that it's going to automatically link them together as tools and they're going to work cohesively. So this is a modular approach that they have created. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this architecture, which is showcasing a practical use case of experts.js. So imagine you're a company using this main assistant and it serves as a router for a panel of specialized assistants. You have a company assistant product tool as well as an open search tool. And basically the primary sales and routing assistant is going to utilize a merchandising expert as its tool. So this is something that in turn employs another tool that's capable of searching on open search vector database. And this is basically a structure that's going to ensure that each assistant is focused on a specific domain so that, that it's going to avoid unnecessarily like overlap as well as token wastage. So this is a really smart multi-agent system that was created. In this case, the sales assistant doesn't need to know how to perform complex open search queries. It's going to focus on its own thing. And this is where it's going to give that task to the open search tool, which is going to focus primarily on that query. So it's going to handle whatever task that is given to itself, and it's not going to utilize other agents to help it. And this is an approach that keeps assistant quite efficient and specialized. So it's going to prevent confusion and it's going to enhance the overall performance. This will also help you in saving tokens. So this is really cool. A really cool feature that I like about expert.js is thread management where they have it so that each tool runs on its own space. And this is where it's going to prevent problems when they have multiple tools needing to work at the same time. So when you ask an expert a question, it needs a thread ID. 
which chat apps store on the client side, like in a URL. So xr.js takes care of everything else, creates and manages these threads automatically so that you don't actually need to worry about extra IDs on the client side. So how do you get started? Well, go to the GitHub repository and scroll down to the installation tab. Once you are here, you want to install via npm and usage is quite easy. You would just simply want to copy this, go into your command prompt. Once you are here, you can just simply paste this in and click enter. This will start installing all the packages that are needed. And then what you want to do is just import the assistant, the tools, as well as the threads. And this is basically where you're going to be inputting the three objects, such as the assistants, the main objects that represent the AI agent, the tools that are the assistant that can be used by other assistants and a thread, which is managed the context window for your agents. So just simply copy this and paste this back into your command prompt. Now, after that, I want to briefly walk you over what you need to do. So first things first, you need to create your assistant. This is where the assistant is going to represent the AI agent. And you need to create this assistant by defining the new assistant and extending the assistant class to this. So you'd want to copy this. And then this is basically a code that sets up the assistant with a name, description, and instruction, and then configures it with a specific model and tool set. So you can even use GPT-4 Omni. Now, one thing I want to mention is that you can utilize all of OpenAI's tools and function calling features. And this is where you can access it through this website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. It showcases how you can utilize these function call and tools. So you can utilize the OpenAI assistants, such as Code Interpreter, File Search, as well as many of the other ones that are listed in their docs. And you can have it connected with experts.js. Over here is the simple ask interface where you can ask and simply instruct your assistant to do certain things. You can add various tools where normal open AI tools and function calls are supported. You can also create your own, which is really also helpful. You have streaming and events where by default, all experts leverage assistant streaming events. You are going to be able to also work with advanced features where you can have third party tools integrated. Now. This is where I truly recommend that you read through this doc because it goes further in detail and it will showcase how you can create each assistant and how you can have it so that all these tools are interlocked together to do various sorts of tasks. And that's the great thing about multi AI agent systems. I hope you found this video to be helpful and you got some sort of idea as to what you can do with it. This is definitely something that you should take a look at. It's fairly new and I would give huge props to Ken, who is the creator of this project. So definitely give his blog post to follow as well giving his uh github a star sorry i blanked out there but with that thought guys make sure you follow me on the patreon page if you haven't already definitely do so because this is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly Peace out, fellas.